Hello, it's a brand new week. It's actually 20 past 12. I've been up for ages doing routine things, but I've got some non-routine things that I need to do and they are related to my holiday, which is coming up in just under three weeks. I had a package come through from Amazon. I think you can probably guess what it is. Funny packaging, but um, yeah. They put the whole lot in a box. <laughs> Earplugs, that'll keep me going for a while. Before I start, I think I need to pop a wash on because I just learned something really annoying from a news app. You know, this lovely, lovely weather we've been having and we've all been feeling like it's summer already. It's not gonna last. Apparently, we're going to be plunged back into sub-zero temperatures again soon. So I thought, right, let's do a wash and dry it on the line today. And then that'll be it again for ages. I don't have loads to do and I try to wait till I've got a machine load i don't want to just you know run it half empty because we've got this energy crisis and rising bills to contend with as well so i'm trying to be as economical as possible but i don't want to waste this drying weather i already have a load to put away from yesterday i want to do lights today that's kind of light my teen is unexpectedly off college today there's just train chaos abound staff shortages apparently loads and loads of lines are affected I'm going to do my towels, that's the bathroom one, and at least, well, the white one hanging on the back of my door. Probably doesn't exactly need 100% doing, but it's going in anyway, so it can dry on the line. Well, that shot didn't work, there it is. <laughs> now, holiday task number one, I have to email the holiday details to my boyfriend, because I casually asked him over the weekend, oh, did you book the park in for the airport? And he said, no, you sent me the details for the holiday so I can do it. I was like, no, <laughs> if I just thought he knew. Anyway, he didn't, so I'm gonna do that first, so that's kind of urgent. And after that, I need to book travel health insurance, which I haven't done. And somebody did recommend in the comments and I should have done it and I didn't because I just kept putting it off and off. They said, do it as soon as possible because if your trip has to get canceled, you can get some money back for it. But I haven't done it, but I'm gonna do it shortly. Okay, that email is sent. I've got out my paper documents that I already had. I, I've got them just like that for privacy at the moment. But I'm going to hand write in all the times and everything as well into my diary because it just, I don't know, it makes me feel more kind of calm, centred, focused and just secure, I think. Once I've written it all down, I kind of, I get it in my head, I process it somehow and feel more sure of everything. I don't know. Do you get that? I'm glad I'm going through all this bump actually that came in the envelope from the travel agent. There's a whole thing on how to find your driver for the transfer when you get to the airport and also there's a voucher that you got a hand in at the hotel so it was definitely worth reading through it so i've been putting stuff in my diary anyway i've also been doing some admin for music work as well because i've had messages coming in and just responding to that and speaking of that i next thing i do need to do is i need to put the details in for the weekend gig that i've got coming up in my diaries and make sure that i've got them to hand I'm having one of those messages and emails just keep pinging in all the time, uh, afternoons. So I'm getting really distracted and my poor brain is like all zigzaggy. I don't like it when that happens. I'm sure that washing machine must be done, so I'm gonna go hang that laundry out now and then come back to it with a fresher head. So nice to be able to dry the clothes outside. Yay! Ooh, ooh, it's a bit windy. <laughs> I'm gonna make myself a cuppa now and sit down and try and find a travel insurance company. I normally go with a company called something like insurance for musicians or travel insurance for musicians, but we're not actually gonna play. Of course, we have looked to see if there will be Irish sessions where we're going. Can't find any trace of any of it. Kind of relieved, kind of didn't want to because I know it will annoy Isabel so much but it's just such a waste of an opportunity if you can network with local musicians because me and I be a perfect to slot in with these singer guitarists that do Irish pubs we're just absolutely perfect because they can back our tunes and we can back their songs and become a team and work in you know holiday places to entertain tourists and things so networking opportunities ought to be capitalised on, shall we say, and plus it's good fun for us, but it's not very good fun for it as well. But anyway, can't find any, so I think we're leaving our instruments at home, which is gonna feel so weird, like if you're a musician, you know. It's like chopping a limb off and leaving it at home hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles away, and it just makes you feel very insecure. Like, I just can't imagine not having my flute with me in my bag. <sighs> anyway, right. 
cup of tea, travel insurance. I'm having an unexpected excitement surge. It's because IB just messaged me to say that he's booked the parking for the airport. <laughs> I don't know why that's made me feel so blooming excited, but it has. Right, cup of tea made. Mm, that looks a bit dark. I might put a bit more milk in that. I'm aware that quite often I'm vlogging and this just looks so grotty. It's because these pots are just so dribbly. Like every time I give it a wipe and it's all clean, Make coffee, dribble, dribble, dribble. I must admit, I do get a bit stressed out doing travel insurance for my daughter, because she's just so flipping complicated health-wise. Well, I've defaulted to my usual insurer, which is a special one for musicians, even though I'm not actually technically playing, but I will be vlogging. So, did you know? I'm just, um, you're probably wondering what I'm doing. I'm picking up all the bits that blew off my chimney in Storm Uni, so I was kind of leaving it here as uh, like evidence for, you know, in case somebody wanted to determine whether I was going to qualify for getting anything on the insurance, but I've decided I'm really not. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so normally I have a special insurance for musicians because if you're working as a musician or even just playing an instrument it's a bit of a grey area you know on your holiday because it counts as manual labour for the sake of the insurance policy and if you don't declare it as manual labour then you can invalidate your claim so I always do that but anyway I was thinking is the vlogging a bit of a grey area because I do make money out of it now and not a huge amount but I do make some so it's definitely not classed as a hobby from official eyes so I wanted to have a chat to them about that and also Izzy's history is just so complicated I'd rather talk to a human and this particular company they answer the phone straight away and chat to you and you don't have all this menus lark and wait for 45 minutes lark no they're right on it and they're really friendly so I've spoken to them and they're gonna have a chat in the office decide what's the best thing to do and give me a call back in 10 minutes so that's why I thought I'd just come out and do this little 10 minute job in fact it'll probably take two minutes unless I stop and talk <laughs> I'm sitting here smelling vinegar because I've got the bin from the kitchen right here I won't film it because it's not really uh, nice to look at but this fish and chip wrap is there from the other day when I wasn't vlogging yeah I'm not going to get anything on the insurance for this because basically it needed doing anyway and the wind just made worse what was already bad so there's no point in saving it for people to look at plus of course I never go out here so I pretty much forgot about it because I only go out here if the weather's nice and it hasn't been for nearly the whole year it's the first time really I've wanted to be out here well that's all going to end if we go back to being sub-zero again IB was out measuring all this up to replace the frontage on here because it's all rotten away look it's terrible so he said he's gonna get a big planky thing and cover it all because he said well should we get more of this stuff and I don't want it I it just I don't I think it's all fiddly I'd rather just have it plain to be honest oh, we've got some plastic in the bed there next to the strawberry plant I need sympathy I just really banged my knee on the door frame coming in hauling that bin in there's nothing to see oh but it hurts <laughs> IB's just messaged to say that he's just got his insurance too and he's got an annual policy it's got me thinking should I get an annual policy I might ask for a quote for both but it's a bit uncertain still with traveling for various reasons not only the pandemic but now fuel prices as well so I'm thinking will I just be wasting my money getting an annual policy will we actually travel again <laughs> or is some other calamity going to befall us um, so I don't know, I'll get a quote for both and have to have a quick think whilst on the phone. Might as well put this lot away while I'm waiting for him to ring back. I swear I get more things done while I'm waiting for phone calls or being on hold. Those little five minute jobs, you know. Well, they still haven't rung, I'm going to sort these bits out middle of the active fry. Needs soaking it does and a scrub with the brush. My jumper's just come off, look at that, 24.4 degrees with the heating off, amazing. There's one thing that's really worrying me about the holiday, I just started worrying about it last night. Obviously I'm doing lateral flow tests regularly if I'm going and playing flute places and I have a gig the very night before we leave the holiday, so I've got to do a lateral flow test <laughs> and it's the responsible thing to do anyway before you go on a holiday, but if it's positive oh it would be a nightmare so yeah this is worrying me i'm wondering whether i should go to the travel agent and just double check what all the sort of like contingencies are for if something like that happens would one person get 
like a you don't get a refund like if we can't go because of covid we don't get a refund but they put the money as credits towards the next holiday that we book instead but i didn't really i probably should have but i didn't really get the absolute fine details and the small print of that so i probably should i mean it might not happen triple jabbed i've had it i should have pretty good immunity but i'm wondering if i should consciously make an effort to restrict my movements in the week before leading up to the holiday in an effort to not get it because i mean everybody's got it everybody has got it 18 one in 18 people has it at the moment in wales and england so the chances are if i mix with anybody at all i might well get it and any of us um well, it's later still, they still haven't rung. I've cleaned all my surfaces, done all my washing up, loaded the dishwasher, it's not quite full, so I'm not running it yet. And I'm now hungry, but I can't start cooking anything complicated because the phone might ring. But my daughter decided to take out all the rolls. Well, actually I took them out and said, here, use two of these for your packed lunch. And she didn't put them back in the freezer. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to eat bread every day till it's gone. Anyway, I'm gonna have a tin of soup with it because it doesn't matter then if they ring, I can just sort of abandon it in the microwave and just finish it off when it's done. Well, here's my rather uninventive lunch, tin of soup done in the microwave and a couple of these finger rolls with corn slice and chowder cheese as well. And what's the betting? That the minute I sit down to eat it, that insurance company rings me back. They rang back, it's about 10 past four now. They didn't ring back while I was eating, they rang back afterwards, so it was all very convenient. Yeah, she's done me a quote, it's not bad at all. I can't remember what it is now, 30 something pounds for a single trip for both of us combined. If we want an annual one, it's like 90 something. So she's gonna send me an email with all the details and various options. It was There was kind of like a range, depending on what specific policy I want because you know you have some that have got more access or less access and different add-ons and things so I will probably do that tomorrow now because I'm starting to get a bit brain boggled she hasn't sent it yet I might do it today we'll see how the time goes but I have been editing actually because it was just one of those easy things to do whilst waiting for somebody to ring so I did that got that done uh I don't quite know what to do with myself now I need the loon as he's in the bath <laughs> It's what's going on there. I'm still trying to flush my latest infection through. It's not quite gone, still niggling away. So I'm guzzling and guzzling loads of water and um, you know what that means. I need to do every five minutes. Oh, me and Izzy have been doing the biggest admin thing ever. Took up all afternoon yesterday. She got her reading glasses and they look very smart. So she got those around lunchtime and then all afternoon and into the evening. We were working on an application form. She's going for another, she's going to try for a scholarship again. Um, she'll be a bit of a wild card, to be honest, if she does get picked, which I think is very remote because there'll be a lot of competition, a lot of stiff competition for it. But the thing that she's going for, she hasn't had any formal tuition and she has no formal qualifications in. So I think it's very unlikely that she get picked on that basis. But she's really passionate about the subject areas to the point that she's completely self-taught and spends hours and hours on them per week anyway, you know, no matter what, because she's just so passionate about them. So she's got raw passion rather than formal qualifications or formal experience. So we'll see. Anyway, it's a lot of paperwork, especially like health questionnaire. I had to fill in with a lot of that stuff and she had to get references, which we've been organising and she had to do this huge long weighty tome like a written application with lots of specific questions with word counts attributed to them all last year it was 5,000 words this one is a bit shorter but it wasn't far off it took her you know quite a lot of installments to chip away at it you know it wasn't a just sit down and write it job it was a long long one uh what else oh, I need to compile like examples of artwork and we've had to get a singing demo together as well but it's kind of coming together. I just need to, oh, and I had to put all the certificates in a document to send off as well. They wanted everything that like they asked for. It's like, just didn't quite tick our boxes somehow. Uh, I didn't have a school transcript because the college doesn't do them. But I Googled what is a school transcript and it's a list of subjects studied and grades attributed. So just sending all the certificates, hoping that will do. It's various other things as well. Oh, yeah, one of the things they wanted was um, a reference from somebody from an extracurricular group that's to do with the subject area that she's applying for, but she hasn't done any because of COVID. She's 
come out of all of them trying to reduce her mixing during covid and also her college schedule plus the commute is just it's enough like on its own like there is no extra time in the evenings and at the weekends she wants to catch up with her home meta friends or she's just she needs a rest <laughs> so she's not like for the first time ever she's not doing loads of extracurricular classes at all she does extracurricular stuff at college uh, so it's kind of all in house so that was awkward so I haven't got the reference from the right person so I went to a college and asked them instead and then they asked for one from the principal of the school well she's not in school she's in college and the principal she has no relationship with whatsoever so what is the good of a principal doing a ref so she's only got one ref but apparently the teacher that's organized it has got lots of people to chip in and it's very clear that it's multiple different people so oh it's all like it's good but it's not what they've asked for so we'll just have to see what happens won't we but anyway i haven't quite finished compiling her artwork i need to put them all on a document and get them ready for emailing as well i haven't done it yet i kind of ran out of steam last night this was a long waffle what's possessed me ah i'm putting off doing more work that's what right i'll speak to you later i'm doing it i'm having my coat free warm weather walk while i still can i'm back it's about 20 to 6 in the evening i came back and i just crashed out on the sofa had a snack had a drink came over all tired and definitely needed a bit of a break i came back early from my walk actually because my boyfriend said could i please measure the length of this which i did and it is five meters and oh i can't remember now less than six meters something like five meters 85 he's going to get it sorted very soon he's ordered timber for it so take a last look at this atrocious monstrosity because it's soon going to be a smart new plank <laughs> I'm not quite sure about the caving in fence, um, but definitely that bit. He's going to try and do it tomorrow. My washing's dry, I'm going to bring that in. I proper hurt my knee earlier, you know, it hurts when I bend it, when I go up and down steps and things. Usually if I just bash it, it's a superficial thing, it doesn't hurt inside in the joint. Ooh. I just dug my sun hat out. I couldn't find it, I completely forgot I bought it the last time I went to Porth Call. I went out the other day for a walk and couldn't find a sun hat and uh, completely forgot about it yeah and then I was thinking oh I better find it and I can pack it in my suitcase oh here it is all ready I sewed a little bit of sort of mask elastic on it because there's nothing worse than it blown off you don't need it you can just wear it normally but you know on those extra windy days it's just handy to have some tetherage I'm in a bit of a weird limbo-y mood at the moment my boyfriend was due to come so I was all poised to be getting his dinner ready but he's a little bit too busy but he's gonna to come tomorrow morning and you know get involved with the plank <laughs> and my daughter uh, is thinking about mooching off to my dad's so she can go to college from there in the morning uh, she hasn't gone yet so it's all a bit like uh, I feel like I'm just waiting for things to happen it's too late in the day really to sort out that travel insurance and I'm just really not in the mood for sorting out that application form. I just want a rest and a sit down and I haven't done my flute practice and I'm thinking I am really feeling too tired so i'm quite tempted to just call it a day to be honest and start afresh tomorrow be useful tomorrow so i might well do that but i've definitely filmed enough because i've been very rambly today thank you so much for watching this vlog Could you please give it a little like it really helps channels to grow and i so appreciate that and if you're new here and would like to follow more of my stories do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and i'll see you in the next one bye